Welcome to ISMSurf basic tutorial number five, Analysis, where we take a look at the most commonly used analysis diagnostics. Let's start with the very popular sections command. This puts planar sections in a various direction through our geometry. So in this case, in the X direction, I'm requesting 10 sections. So there we are, 10 sections through my model. I can change that to 50. Let's take a closer look at those. There we go, my 50 sections in X. I can also choose what is the increment between the sections. So this will give me a section every 100 millimeters. If I change the direction to the Y direction and just push OK, it makes a new section for me. And again in Z, keeping the same parameters as I've just defined. Twitching off the edges, we can take a good look at all of those sections together. I need more sections in the Z direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my increment to 50. So that will give me more sections that I get a better definition of my shape. So there it is. If I want to, I can click on the uh, section and change the line thickness. I can also change the color of my section and I can define that for each section here in my section menu and the ticks will switch them off and on. I can also choose entity color. What this means is it overrides my colors and puts the color of the entity on my section. So you can see my patches and faces have got pink, blue and red colors. So the sections correspondingly have the same colors. So it makes it easy for me to understand which parts of the model they're going through. Another type of section is the planar section or referencing the plane. So uh, my current plane can be in any direction, not a principal direction. And we also have the very useful true section. So a true section is a section normal to a graphical entity. So if I pick graph, that means graphical, meaning from the screen, I can then pick an edge or a curve and then that will place a section which is normal to that edge or curve. So there we go, I've got one over here. Now I can also change the count. So if for my true section, if I want to have 10 sections, 10 true sections, I can pick a curve or an edge. And once I've confirmed that, you'll see that it's they're not planar sections, it's actually normal sections around the curve. Very useful indeed. I can also switch on my curvature plot on my curves. So if I just say OK here, and there's my curvature plot through the uh, section. The next diagnostic is deviation analysis. That's the distance from one thing to another. So I'm going to start by doing a deviation between these two curves on the right. So I have to pick first the object. So with the middle mouse button, confirm my object selection and then the reference. Again, middle mouse button confirms my selection. So we're showing this display. I can change the accuracy by changing the number, the count number here, so I can make it more or less accurate. I can change the scaling so I can double the scale to exaggerate what's going on. Here I can choose the direction. So this is a three dimensional direction, but I can also do X, Y and Z directions. Let me put this back to one. I can switch on and off the min max labels. I can also use the inspect button. So this allows me to pick more precisely on the diagnostic to get a, a localized reading and I can save that for reference later. So I'll save that into the database if there was an issue here in particular. Next is the split analysis, very useful for building draft into your model for production uh, purposes. So we can measure to a specific direction. So all surfaces according to the current working plane. What this has done is it's put a diagnostic on the model here in yellow. Let me change that color to something more visible. So that's where it goes from positive to negative. That's where the split line is uh, referencing the plane, the current working plane. So let me change that to two degrees, which is a more realistic value. Also, I have both sides and the zero line activated. So we're going to get three diagnostics with the zero line shown in the middle in gray. Let me switch off the edges and zoom in a bit to show you what's going on. So if we take a look in here, you'll see there are three lines, the red diagnostic for the plus and the minus and the gray line in the middle to show the zero angle reference. Another great way to look at split lines on our model is to make use of the highlight menu. So if we go to the display highlight menu and under colors, the fourth option is split if you have the optional master license. 
If I switch this on now, it gives us this nice colored display on screen. I can choose a vector, I can choose X, Y, Z, or I can even just pick a line, a tooling line off the model. I can just choose the curve and choose the tangent direction. Plus minus flips the direction and the thumb wheels at the bottom of the menu allow us to change the split angle and even the tolerance angle for tooling analysis. We can change the type now to the standard color highlight. So we can change, change the number of lines we see on the model and we can choose X, Y, Z directions. We can also pick up on the light source and change it according to the light source to look at the highlights across our model. There are a couple more options under the color dropdown where we can go for multicolor and we can also choose to make the diagnostic transparent so the base color shows through. Moving into the matching command now, this is the diagnostic that measures the angle between surfaces. So I'm going to start off by selecting my, my two patches. I can use the left mouse button to toggle between the object and the reference. Uh, I can choose what sort of matching diagnostic we want to look at. So here's position. If I push OK, uh, it, it shows it for me or I can switch on apply immediately. So it'll automatically update as I work. So I've switched on tangent. I can change the scale of the diagnostic. Here's curvature. Let me switch off position and tangent here and switch on the graph. OK, there's the, uh, the tick box for the graph, which we can switch on and off and adjust the scale. We can also show the minimum max values on the model. And we can also save the diagnostic, which records all of these settings for later reference. The next diagnostic is the clipping plane, a very useful function under display clipping plane menu. So it, if I press the new button, it puts a clip plane through my current working plane. I can, with my left mouse button, remotely move the location of the plane. So if I just push left and move it backwards and forwards, I can do that without having to pick on the, the symbol, which is very useful. Let me flip it to the other side and you can see that. If I press new again, it gives me an, a new plane, which is uh, orthogonal to the current plane automatically. So in this case, that's the uh, X plane direction and I can move them around individually. I can switch them off and on with the tick box uh, and if I activate them, I can adjust them with the remote controls. I can also choose to change the color of my symbols right here. And if I just make a, a new detail list um, of the, the door, I'm gonna show you some nice functions. We can engage sections on the clip plane so you can see there's a, it's put a section on there. It's a little bit hard to see. So if I just go to my section preferences, we can change things like the line width. So I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker and easier to see. I can also switch off and on the plane symbol. So that's the box that goes around the section. If I want to, I can also directly change. A right mouse click on the center of the plane gives me the save section option in my model. So there it is, it's saved. And if I go to my sections menu, you can see it's now listed uh, under this tab as a, uh, a planar section. I can also directly right here change the color of the sections and the line thickness so it's a little bit more convenient. The final diagnostic in this video is the very important surface checker. It's under here, Diagnosis Check Surface. And this is the tool that we use when we finished our model and we want to check for any errors. So uh, what I do is I pick my surfaces that I want to check and then I can choose what it is that I'm interested in. So uh, I can choose topology region, position, tangency and curvature. Um, here I press OK. I can save it as a variant to refer to later. And then I can, if there are any uh, surfaces that fall outside the checking parameters, I can make a checklist and it automatically puts them on there just to make it easier for me to have a closer look at any issues. Thanks for watching and do come over to the Katia Creative Design and Styling community for more videos and tips and tricks on Isomsurf.